Are you driving the boat too? Yeah. You are? Yep. Wow, you're the, the driver. The driver, and captain. the driver in every way. There, well, okay. okay. Later. Our bartender also. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh. better eyes on than I do. Right there, right there. Where? We're trying to get it. Uh-oh. Lonzo? I think it's gone. Oh, Wait, oh, there it is. Jump in! Love starting my trip off with an adventure. This is fantastic. Oh, <laughs> Chelsea, you have the eagle eye. I can't see shit. Yeah, that thing is moving. Son of a bitch. You've done this before. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> That's awesome. This is really awesome. That is so cool. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Do a little room tour. Inside the room, very authentic. Nothing too super luxurious or over the top, but what you can expect from a beach bungalow. You see the beach right out there. Perfect. A little mini fridge. They stock me with water. Place to your clothes. A little safe. Cabinet. Big bed. There's a fan and an AC. Like I said, this is a very authentic experience. Look at my light. <laughs> Got everything you need for a perfect beach bungalow. little idiosyncrasies of uh, St. George Resort. Let me show you right here. A relic of the past. Let's see if it works. Hello, Mom. Mom, are you there? She didn't answer. Saltwater pool. that later. Stay tuned.
my favorite thing is waking up. It's a coffee ready for me in the morning. Good morning. Alrighty, we're going to meet Derek at his room before we go on a kayak adventure. I love going to his cabana. Did I leave my sunglasses over here? You did. That yes. Like... See, I knew I left something over here. <laughs> my shit's all over the island. There you go. <laughs> yes. You're just pulling me for now. Thanks. Can you just take me on a ride? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, good. Good uh, work out. Okay. So, right. Through there. Oh. Successful mission around the island. Nobody died. Nobody got taken out to sea. Seriously. Good work. Good. Success. <sighs> okay, what are we gonna go do now? We're gonna go cat. sail the Hobie Cat. Hobie Cat. I thought it was Hobby Cat. Hobby Cat? Hobie cat? cat? We don't know. Hobie Hobby. This is Jenny. I'm a mom. I'm Kelly. I don't know what to go for with. <laughs> to the GoPro. Try to get presentable to eat some lunch. Today has been full of adventures. We just got back from wind sailing on the Hobby Cat and seeing that awesome sandbar. And we just got back to the resort in time to scarf down a bunch of food, which was delicious. Everything we've eaten here so far is bomb. Luckily, there were some carbs in that because I was starving. I was getting to the point where I was like shaking. Um, and now we are off to go snorkel the reef. And I can't wait.
where I'm like, wow, I'm really out here. I'm just really out here in the ocean. I'm just really out here doing this. Like, what the? F How is that even possible? Can't really take me seriously with this goggle on right now. Uh, that's how I feel right now. Holy hell. I'm full of salt. <laughs> But did Merrick, how'd you like it? Oh man, that was awesome. Totally. I am honestly so happy that I got to see a manatee in a while. Yeah. I can't believe that. That was cool. That was really cool. The but then I immediately freaked out. <laughs> choked on water. <laughs> that was so excited. I just tried to do scream. I was like, ah, underwater. Should have quit this. Best snorkel trip I've ever done in my whole life, hands down. It was amazing. So beautiful. <sighs> After my third adventure of the day, I'm definitely a bit exhausted. So I'm happy to be in my home sweet home. Oh. So after two boat trips today, a kayaking trip, snorkeling trip, this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> oh no, it's not looking good you guys. Send help, please. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> All right, I'm getting ready to go into the pool to do some dive stuff. I'm gonna do a little resort dive. I don't think I'm actually diving today, but I'm gonna learn some techniques and learn how not to die in the pool. So wish me luck with that. First thing, you're gonna put everything on. Okay. You get in the water, breathe in the water. just did my scuba lesson in the pool which was really fun really enjoyed it and I took a shower to rinse the salt water off of me and in the shower is where we all have our best thoughts so what I was thinking about was before I got here how many times I tried to talk myself out of going scuba diving and even out of coming to Belize at all now all the thoughts went through my head of, do I really want to do that? Do I need to do that? Do I want to spend the money going to Belize? Do I want to spend the money going scuba diving? And I guess my thought, my question is, why do we do it? Why, why do we have those second thoughts that are always battling our wants and desires? As human beings, all we really need is food, water and shelter but the 99 percent of us the other 99 percent of our bodies and our beings is desire desire to do things so why do we spend so much time talking ourselves out of the things we actually want to do or creating stories in our minds as to why we can't do them i think that's what it is for me creating the story as to why i can't or why i shouldn't do something and today, I'm just really glad that I did something new that I've never done before. Am I gonna do it a million more times in my life and become the greatest scuba diver on planet Earth? Probably not. And like, literally no desire to do anything like that. But today, I'm glad that I did that activity. It was really fun and I learned something new. And it feels really good. 
So moral of the story, if you want to do something, you are the only one standing in your way. And that sounds so cheesy, but it couldn't be more true. Tell me you're rich without telling me that you're rich. Obviously here at Derek's cabana because he's rich and I'm not but I'm grateful that he's here to share his his little bungalow with me look at how beautiful this is as the sun sets these cabanas or bungalows excuse me stay kind of hot during the day but at sunset they're absolutely gorgeous I have my coca-cola there may or may not be a little bit of Sailor Jerry in there courtesy of my neighbor, Derek's neighbor. Good morning. Today is the day I've been waiting for. I get to go scuba for realsies in the ocean. I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also excited. I'm pretty sure I'm in good hands. Before we go scuba diving, let's go eat some fry jacks for breakfast. Wait, which one's half? That one's half. That's 3,000 PSI here. Okay. Half is gonna be about right there. Okay, 15, makes sense. 15. Okay. Oh, yeah. not understand how people dive for like hours and hours. I did two dives. Each one was probably 45 minutes and I am exhausted. Definitely ready for a nap. It looks like there's a cookout happening tonight. Bonfire situation. I hope I'm invited to the cookout. Cookout is open. I'm leaving. I'm leaving St. George this resort. My boat's not here yet. But I'm carrying all my heavy shit. See you at home. All good things must come to an end. It's a saying that everybody knows and it's very true. My stay here has been awesome. I can't wait to come back. Until next time. My ride is here. <laughs> Wilbur's taking me home. Or to the airport. And I, I, I can't breathe if it isn't you and I. And I.